So on today's show, <laughs> on this episode, <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I haven't been on the show. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Um, good to have you for Chinese New Year. Oh yeah, it is Chinese New Year, isn't it? Yeah, well that's, oh, <laughs> that's why we had dinner. That's why we had dinner last night. What what jelly what jelly cake and chocolate cake and sashimi? <laughs> Can we maybe tell us a little bit about yourself, like your career wise and just you know how your adulting life is going? <laughs> I am a nurse by trade, which I'm trying to get out of because, well, I listened on this podcast by Joe Rogan on like how if you don't sleep, you basically turn yourself into a cancerous cell. I don't want that. So now I'm trying to see what other avenues I could take with a nursing background. I just don't want to go back to, go back to school. I can't do what you're doing. I can't. I can't. You can, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't recommend. Nice little brains and like write little articles about them. I wouldn't recommend doing a PhD either. They, it does stand for permanent head damage, so. No, that's, oh, that's oh, that's so smart. <laughs> that's actually a joke, but <laughs> I actually really enjoyed that joke. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like it. So in this process, I guess you sort of found that you want to put your health first. I noticed it. I noticed when I when I was doing night shifts, you know, pulling three, four nights in a row. Like I would only eat once a day. I would sleep, you know, let's say 8 a.m. till midday, and I'll sleep again from like. 4 or 5 p.m. onwards until my next shift. I wouldn't see anyone, I wouldn't eat, I don't exercise. Unfortunately, all I would eat on shift was just junk. I think I was my heaviest when I was doing like 12 hour night shifts. Oh man. I was like 55 kilos. Never again. <laughs> no more dirty bulking. Nope. <clears throat> so I guess you really started to take a toll on your health and well being? Well, I think it did, especially since I turned 30. <laughs> I turned 30 and then. I didn't realize it until someone brought to my attention, they were like, oh, you know, you look a bit more tired. Oh, hi, duck. Uh, <laughs> you look a bit more tired. And then I didn't I didn't realize it until I actually thought about it. I was like, oh, wait, I, I really do eat once a day. I don't, my sleep is so irregular. Like, why do I keep doing this to myself? I mean, mind you, bless all the doctors and nurses who work, and all of everyone else that works 24, you know, 24, you know, rotating shift jobs. But I decided that it's not the work-life balance I want in my life anymore. <laughs> life begins at 30 apparently. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, it really did. And so now I'm thinking what other jobs I could do. And I was even trying to think, okay, let's not do mainstream. If I wasn't going to do nursing, could I utilize the internet and social media to try to make money from that? Haven't thought, haven't got any ideas just yet. So if you have any ideas, please help me. <laughs> I think Vayner Nation, we all know where we can get some inspiration. That's cool, man. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing your insights. That's alright. So for any other aspiring nurses... Um, or retiring nurses. Yeah, or retiring <laughs> nurses or any health aspiring professionals. You know, this is something to consider before you make your choice. Mm -hmm. But thank you for sharing your insights. You're welcome. Anything else you'd like to leave? You know, let the internet, cyberspace know. Any other messages? New Zealand's getting hotter, global warming's gonna kill us all. I'm actually sweating and my armpits are really bad right now. Yeah, I'm actually sweating too. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed New Zealand. Thank you. Alright, always good to have you back. I look forward to every mince and cheese pie I can get. Mince and cheese pies for the win. Alright, alright, can you just hold that? Alright, till next time. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> I didn't notice it. We have that <laughs> <laughs>